velocity curves. Velocity curves are beautiful. What a velocity curve says is that if I have a certain controller or if my fingers are, are heavy or light, I can adjust uh, the velocity curve and it will manipulate how hard or how soft I actually hit the keys. So if I, so what you do is you hold it in the middle and you bow it up or you bow it down. You can bow it up or bow it down. Look how cute that is, that's sweet. All right, so the reason why this works very good with the amp sim, let me show you something. So let's take it down a little bit. So what I'm saying is that I wanna hit some of the softer notes, all right? So let's warm this up a little bit. Look at that. Now, because I changed this amp sim, I'm playing the softer notes. And when I when you pull it down here, basically I'm just gonna give you a, a, a summary. When you pull it down here, you play the softer notes. When you do up here, you get a higher. See that? And then, all right, so we just take it down just a tad. And that way, if I wanna do romantic type worship or R&B type chords, I can go. So I can still play hard, I can play my same level, but it gives me those pretty tone, tones. If I take it up higher and I wanna do some grit, I turn this off and I go. So it may, it may let me turn this down a little bit. It makes me hit it, makes me hit it hard. Let me turn this up a tad. So, or if I wanna just go crazy with the velocity, we're hard, hard. You know what I'm saying? So. You got that whole thing. Now, if you hold the command key, if you're in Windows, and you hit this, it returns it back to original state. Holding command, bam. Holding command, bam. All right, that's a little trick there. That's like that with everything. All right, so that those two go hand in hand when it comes to the amp sim and the velocity because depending on your amp sim, it lets certain frequencies in, lets certain frequencies out. You can control what frequencies you want in. And then you, see this This is not just a, a electric piano library. This is an, ele I would consider this an electric piano uh, synth. I mean, there's so many parameters that you can tweak, so much stuff you can do with this thing that it just makes it awesome, all right? so. So uh, we talk about the amp sims here, going back, uh, velocity curves, cleaned. Uh, here's that, ah, I love this, uh oh. You hear that? That's just grit, you hear all this grit? That's what a real instrument sounds like, grit. That's what we wanted, we wanted to keep it rough and gritty like a organic type of, like you're playing a real electromechanical electric piano, all right? So, now the middle section here is a beautiful section here. We like this section here. It's your, it's your, it's your cream. It's your icing, it's your cream here, all right? And um, so we have a beautiful chorus going on here, so. I like that. Let's turn this tying up a little bit. Let's turn this tying up a little bit.
It's beautiful. You hear how beautiful and warm this chorus is? Very beautiful, warm with this amp sim. All right. So then we throw in it. Let's take this off and let's throw this uh, spring reverb. Woo! That's that retro feel. That's that retro feel, guys. Now put them on both together. So uh, that's beautiful. All right, let's turn these off. So spring reverb, that's what you really want to run your electric piano through, okay? That's why we call it Neo Soul Keys. Because we got all the grit. We got all the grit. Um, uh, just a little side note. Um, we've seen some people on the blog say, why they call it Neo Soul? Uh, don't they think that they're, uh, um, you know, pigeonholing themselves? We think that the EP will work for everything. Yes, we're not saying that the EP will not work for everything, but the problem with some sometimes with developers, we want to make a universal pattern for everything. Not no one electric piano sound can work for every single situation. I mean, this one can work for rock, but we love neo soul and the point of saying neo soul keys was to say Look, we're bringing the soul back to plugins, to libraries. So Neo Soul is a way of saying that if you like soul, if you like R&B, if you like hip hop, if you like funk, if you like gospel, if you like jazz, then this is what we pegged it to. So of course you can use it for any other, but we're 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 musicians first and our love is Neo Soul jazz, hip hop, funk. So we made something that we know that uh, it, it, um, it caters to a particular style. Yes, if you look at all these features, this will work for any type of electric piano sound that you want. All right, so we're not saying that. We're just saying, and hey, look, we're coming from a neo soul perspective, and that's the perspective we're coming from. So if you love soul, funk, grit, hip hop, neo soul, uh, house, even house music, um, then this is for you. All right, so. It's going over here. Now, this is the way this works. Let me show you how this works. Uh, to the right of the button, you turn it on. All right. To the left of the button is where you control the parameters, as you can see. All right. Um, as with anything, nothing is perfect. So the more stuff you turn on, the more processor this stuff is going to eat up. All right. So um, just be cognizant that that that's the case. All right. So so what we got right here. So here we go. So we got the phaser. Let's go over these individually. So we got a phaser here. So um, let me uh, let me change the. Let me actually turn. Let me turn off the amp sim so you can hear the raw without the uh, simulation. So you speed, depth. Woo! Now that's funky for Neo Soul right there. Now check this out. Right click, learn. Uh oh, watch this. Woo! There, all right. So flanger, uh, <laughs> that's funny. So the flange is not. This is uh more subtle. It acts more like a chorus. Let's turn this down a little bit. So it acts more like a chorus. Ooh, which is nice though. So we can go something like the. Then if we want to go crazy psychedelic. Yeah, 
what I'm saying? So delay. This is this is a beautiful thing right here. This is um, if you ever heard the Roots live album uh, when they did a live, the guy's playing a, uh, a, a electric piano. I think he's playing a suitcase. I didn't see. Any, uh, I don't know, but you can hear a delay on there. Uh, let's turn turn this feedback up. So notice the 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 parameters that you control change per so change per what you select. There we go. Yeah, you know what? Let's throw an amp sim on here. Uh-huh, to make it sound like there we go. Funky. Remember, everything can be controlled by MIDI. Everything can be controlled by MIDI. Everything. So, this is very funky when you're doing. All right. Then we got the old distortion, which. actually has a um, has a uh, which is cool that we programmed the distortion to have like a um, a compressor on it so you don't peek out your speakers and mess up your equipment you notice you notice it peeks out right here we did that on purpose so that you wouldn't mess anything up because distortion can get really ugly really fast all right so there you have it that's the middle section this is a cream I like to add a little delay with a little bit of phaser and then I'm good to go with my amp sim, and I'm ready to go. Oh, this is all hip hop right here. up a little bit just a tad remember whatever is highlighted is the parameter you're controlling Woo! So I add some bass to it. That's straight up neo funk hip hop. Beautiful. Let's turn these down, keep this amp sim on. All right, so the effects. Now, 